another exclusive interview here. Uh, Berea, Bo Berea Boxing is in El Monte, California in uh, Jerry Ortiz Boxing Gym. Today we have here a very, very exciting young fighter. Uh, we had the privilege of seeing her, uh, we saw her spar, we saw her train. Very excited, let me tell you. Um, Luisa Lulu. Bang Bang Lulu. Hatton, yes. How are you? What's up, man? So tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, we want to start with uh, our fans, we want to get to know you a little bit. Tell us a little bit about your history. Um, where you come from and uh, what got you into boxing? I'm Bang Bang Lulu, hailing from Perth, Australia. Um, all the way out here to make my dreams come true and create a future for my two children. Uh, I've been boxing for just a bit over five years, just under six years. Um, Two-time world champion. Nice. Uh, train my ass off, uh, love what I do and thankfully I've been uh, able to team up with my boyfriend Elvis Grant who's been the greatest uh, book of knowledge and, and teacher and in boxing, in business, in life, in so many things. So my um, move over to America came, uh, I think now it's coming up to two years I've been here. Oh, wow. So I go back and forth to see my children. Um, I work my ass off and sacrifice a lot to be out here. So here I am. Uh, I love boxing, I used to skateboard. So uh, previous to having children, I was always quite athletic, competing in the world circuit, and then um, had my children. And then boxing kind of just found me. So I guess I just love the energy and the excitement and the adrenaline, and, and being able to be a, a professional athlete again was uh, very exciting for me and something that gave me a lot, of, a lot of drive and a lot of desire. So how do you like it here in the, in the States, uh, in the States? A little back and forth, that, that shows a lot of dedication, you know, kids out there, but you're here training. Yeah. Uh, how do you like it here in the States? How is the competition here? Uh, did you fight in Australia? Yeah. I fought in Australia. Um, I find America, I mean, to make it in boxing, I guess you've got to come to, come to the mecca of boxing, which is here. So. I always knew, like, as I was training back in Australia, competing, that I wanted to get out of it. Like, I wanted to grow and I wanted to become more and um, be on this world circuit and on this elite level. So, coming out to America was the biggest move, probably the scariest move, because there was a lot that I had to sacrifice and a lot that I had to leave behind and, you know, juggle and figure out. I mean, you know, but I want to make it, so I'm out here and uh, putting in the hard work. The competition That's is definitely awesome. yeah. a whole lot higher. Definitely. I mean, where I'm from in Perth, it's like boxing is is boxing, but it's also more like not the mainstream sport. So it's more hobby. Over Christmas time, the gyms close, and, you know. Yeah, definitely. So uh, tell us a little bit about this title you have here. Uh, what can you say about this title here? WBC Yo. World Champion uh, a female title. Tell us a little bit about, about this and how you acquired it, when you acquired it. I tell you what, when I first stepped into a gym, I saw a picture of this green belt. And literally, like in the first week of being in the gym, I was like, I want one of those. I didn't know really too much about what it was. I just knew that I wanted one. So I look nice, right? <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, I've been working really hard to acquire one of these. Um, and you know, through Elvis um, guiding me, I've been able to uh, have the opportunity to get one of these, um, work my ass off for it. To me, uh, the WBC is, you know, it's always seen as the most prestigious Definitely, in, in yes. boxing, the world of boxing. So I'm glad that my eyes took to the green belt straight away before I really knew too much about it. Yes. Um, yeah, it means a lot to me, a lot of dedication. Um, so you're uh, nine, Two and zero. Yeah, you could so, say. Well, I'd like to say that it uh, wouldn't be that way, but yeah, anyway. the fight against uh, Flores definitely. You definitely took that yeah. fight, man. I don't know what the rest were thinking, uh, but which one? Uh, what fight out of all those do you think was your most difficult, uh, difficult fight? I don't know. I guess probably my first fight in the states was probably mm -hmm. my most difficult. Um, just adjusting. Adjusting to the change, adjusting to a new team, adjusting to new surroundings, 
being away from my children and also the long layoff that I had out of the ring. Probably the most difficult, but I mean, you know, in, in every training camp and every fight, you're overcoming different obstacles. You've always got something to overcome, something that you've got to get around or whatever. Like, you don't know what it's going to be, but you know there's going to be something in that training camp. Different strategies. Uh, yeah, around. different strategies, but, you know, different challenges that come from life and different pressures and, you know, injuries or something like that, you know? So, uh, we know you have an upcoming uh, fight, which is in December, correct? December 7th. December 7th. New uh, York. In New York. <laughs> wow. Um, your opponent, mm -hmm. uh, I know that she she's coming off a, a knockout a mm -hmm. victory. Yeah. What do you feel? Uh, do you feel you're prepared? Are, are you doing anything differently to fight her? We were there covering that fight. Okay, um, cool. you know, she, she looked very good as well. Yeah. She was Tremendous. Um, what are you What are you doing different for this fight? Um, I don't know. So it would be doing too much different. I mean, every fight that I'm focused, I work my ass off. Uh, I know that we leave no stones unturned in training camp. Um, different, few different things that we're adding on that uh, Elvis and Chris have been teaching me in training camp. Um, you know, it's just giving it, giving it all or nothing, and making sure that I'm, you know, dedicated and doing everything right and being consistent so uh, you know I'm good for it already and I'm excited for it. So it's uh, again if you can repeat that December 7th? D December 7th at the Barclays on the Charlo Hogan. Wow. Uh, yeah PBC. Awesome. Yeah I'm super excited. That's awesome. So uh, to uh, we have a lot of uh, a lot of followers that, are that they just want us to go out and, and look for new fighters mm -hmm. that are not known. Um, what can you tell these uh, fans of yours? Uh, what can you tell them uh, about yourself? Um, tell them where can we watch the fight. Tell them where you can watch the fight. I'm uh, sure that you'll be able to watch the fight online. Um, which which bout is it? You know. I'm not sure yet. Not sure yet. Okay. Not sure yet. But uh, yes, I think there's four title fights on the card. So. It's going to be a really good card. Um, I'm definitely out there to steal the show in New York. It's going to be super exciting to all my fans around the world and in Australia. Tune in and um, keep following me. I love you guys and I appreciate all the support. To all the new fans, um, if you want something exciting, something to light you up, something to get you on the edge of the seat, then you better watch me. Otherwise, you're going to miss out. There it is, guys. Luisa Lulu Hatton. 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 <laughs> Not related to Ricky Hatton, right? Yeah, Not sorry. Hatton. It's Horton, and it's unique just like me. So. From Australia, so Australians have very, uh, they're awesome fighters, uh, very competitive. Uh, we just saw her spar. We're not going to give away her tips, but <laughs> wow, she has very powerful and such agility. So, to all the fans out there, make sure to watch her December 7th. Uh, but at Boxing, we're here every Monday. We have a live show, so we'll be we'll be broadcasting this uh, there on our Monday show. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you. It's, a, it's awesome and it's a pleasure. All right, cheers, guys.